The raid earlier this week at the Carmel home of a nursing home executive has some Indianapolis counselors now looking for answers. In fact, the investigation is expected to come up at a budget hearing that's now underway at the city county building, and that's where our City Beat reporter Mary Mills is tonight. Mary? The hearing involves the Health and Hospital Corporation. While it is not under investigation, the company it hired to manage its nursing homes is, and there are some concerns about the possible fallout. This week's FBI raids targeting American senior communities surprised many people, including Democratic counselor Frank Muscari. It's sad for our community, and it's the public trust aspect with the nursing homes. Everybody's a little concerned. The company under investigation operates all 78 nursing homes owned by the Health and Hospital Corporation of Marion County. At this point, like you say, we really don't know a whole lot. I, the thing that makes me feel better is that we're, from what I'm hearing, it has nothing to do with patient care and that it has nothing to do with health, any wrongdoing on a part of health and hospital. But could the investigation hurt the health agency, which, among other things, oversees Eskenazi Hospital? Both counselors hope not. Eskenazi is one of the finest facilities Marion County has, no doubt. The nursing home's health and hospital owns provide not just senior care, but millions in revenue. That revenue, in part, allowed Eskenazi to be built without raising taxes. Both counselors hope the investigation doesn't hurt health and hospital, financially or otherwise. If for some reason health and hospital could have been overpaid, even through no wrongdoing on their part, we're obviously going to have to pay that money back. So that is a concern. And, and the opposite is true, too. We could have, it could have been money skimmed off of something health and hospital is supposed to receive, so they could get a windfall of it. We just don't know. Hopefully when this all comes to the head, we'll be able to come back in the interview and find out what happened. And hopefully it's, it's not as bad as we think. Well, that Health and Hospital CEO Matt Gutwein has reached out to counselors. He's happy to take their questions tonight about the nursing homes, the contract, but not the investigation. Like everyone else, he too is waiting for answers, could be waiting for several months.